Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another knife review. You're at the We All Juggle Knives channel and this knife is the Civivi Crit. It is a knife and a multi-tool in one. Here is the blade. The blade length is 3.18 inches. It is full flat ground, slim, pointed, drop point, nitro V steel. It's a stainless steel. Attractive micarta handle scales on this. Open construction, wire pocket clip that is two position, and it's got front flippers. It also has caged ball bearing pivots, which make the blade deploy very smoothly. I love the blade shape on this. It's been a while since I've gotten a folder, but I couldn't pass this up. It also has this implement here, which has a bottle opener, screwdrivers, wrench cutouts, ruler markings, and a cutting hook. All right, I cut a bunch of things with this. Here is the footage. Okay, first up, cutting some things with that cutting hook. Got some paracord there. Now that cutting hook is ground on both sides, unlike many which are chisel ground. And it is very sharp. It goes through the paracord, no problem. This brand has a very strong reputation among the reviewers I trust. This is the first knife by them that I have tried, but I like it. All right, we've got some heavy nylon strap material coming up. This is similar to a seat belt. Wow. I mean, that would be an excellent little emergency rescue cutter for sure. All right, but I am very familiar with this brand because a lot of reviewers that I subscribe to have uh, recommended this brand. So when I saw this multi multi-function knife, I thought, you know, th this is it. I I'm going to try this out. Definitely glad I did. It's been a while since I've got a folder. You know, I love the fixed blades, but I couldn't pass this up. All right, I've got some whittling wood there. A little blade work. Yeah, this came very sharp as well. Now, a lot of people have said this is a gentleman's folder. I would have to agree because it's a slim and light design. The weight on this is 3.44 ounces. So sub four ounces. Right, so a slim, unobtrusive, attractive design. Yeah, I'd say it's a gentleman's folder, but with a twist because it has that other multifunction tool. And they somehow still made it, still managed to make this uh, fairly slim and light, even with uh, many functions. Okay, so you see we're making a crayon of that whittling wood, and it's doing well. It takes off big slivers and chunks when it needs to. All right, so there's your little crayon of the whittling wood. I think a lot of people are just going to open mail or packages with this, but hey, there it is while I had the paracord out. Yeah, the blade cuts the paracord well too. And while I had that seatbelt surrogate out, might as well cut that too. All right, it goes through that like a hot knife uh, through butter. Right, so this is Nitro V Steel. Well, this is the first knife I've had with that steel. Here it is peeling an apple. But yeah, I did look that up. I did do a little research on the Nitro V. And the word on the web was that uh, it has high corrosion resistance. And a lot of people were saying it also has very high toughness. And there was a little discussion of uh, nitrogen and vanadium content, which was a little above my head. Now I learn about a steel through usage, so only time will tell, but uh, if you have an opinion on that steel, of course you can share it, whether positive or negative. Tell me if you like that steel. Alright, the pocket clip. So there is the pocket clip doing the pocket clip thing. It's a two position wire pocket clip. It is a low rider type clip and uh, yeah, it seems to, seems to work well. Alright, here is my Emerson Persian. Now notice the, the pivot screw on this, right, takes a normal flathead, so we're going to uh, demo that screwdriver. Now one thing I did notice, this uh, screwdriver is very thickly cut, right? It almost didn't fit into that slot, so I had to kind of press harder to turn it, but nonetheless, it did function to remove that pivot screw. Now we're going to put it back, All right? Now... They actually say this has two screwdrivers. Can you see the other one? It's uh, it's part of the arm of the cutting hook where the uh, the hook actually hooks out. There's a little surface. So they, they say there's two screwdrivers on this, according to them. But anyway, there you see me adjusting the pivot screw. 
You know, you don't want it too tight, don't want it too loose, want a positive lockup and so forth. All right, that Emerson Persian. Now that that's a uh, a piercer and a slicer uh, for sure. I've had that a long, long time. All right, there you go. So we got it how we like it. Nice positive lockup on that, slightly tight. Yeah, it's a liner lock, just as uh, the knife I'm reviewing here also has two liner locks to lock it up as well. All right, we've got some nasty uh, pumpkin ale that I got from the, uh, the, the uh, gas station, <laughs> but I got to say that bottle opener works really well. Okay, so there, there's your ale, your ale, bro. Now this also has ruler markings, as you can see. You can measure things. And it has wrench cutouts. Now that's my Stanley uh, Allen driver set. You see those those cutouts. Now I could not find anything that I that those would actually fit that needed to be turned. So just for the sake of seeing the size of it and it fit on something. All right, so that cutout can fit on that Allen driver there. So if you had something of that size and shape that you needed to tighten or loosen, uh, those wrench cutouts could do it. All right, so could be useful in some situations and the cutouts just make this lighter as well so they serve some purpose okay initial sharpness this is when I first got the knife and I did touch it up for only 30 seconds before this so behold Okay, so they did a really great job on the edge of this. Yeah, there you can see that nice. I love the blade shape, man. Full flat ground. All right, it's a fairly narrow blade, but was still very sharp. Now in this clip, you're going to see more smooth flipping action. And I will also show you a close up of the liner locks and the lockup on this knife. But yeah, what are my final thoughts? On this very interesting knife, there is a lot to like about this knife. The micarta handle scales are very attractive. The flipping action on this, because of the um, caged ball bearing pivots, this thing comes out like a dream. Very smooth. Probably, no, definitely the most uh, smoothly deploying front flipper design that I've ever owned. Right? It's amazing how they've made this so lightweight and slim considering that it has two fold out implements and many functions i love the blade shape it reminds me of a reminds me of a large scalpel really the lockup on both of the implements was first rate there was no play the price on this was moderate it was 72 dollars now there are three models of this you've got the one with micarta scales you have black g10 and you have natural G10, right, which is kind of a jade color. Now it was difficult for me to decide between the micarta model and the natural G10 model. I did choose the micarta because it was almost sold out at the time. It was in very high demand. And since that time it has sold out, but I will include a link to the listing of this, which will go to all the models currently in stock. So when they restock this model, that should reappear on the link but that jade g10 does look awesome as well that might be that might be my christmas present to myself for sure but this brand very strong reputation and now i i see why firsthand i definitely highly recommend this knife and i'm going to keep an eye on this brand in the future i will include not only a link to this knife but to many of their best models and their official amazon store I really hope you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.